I'm getting laughs in the back. I'm getting some laughs. That's good. But I'm new here, so I have to laugh at everything. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Time and Tide. I am Andrew. My name is Bonnet. And it's a hot Australian summer day and we have a very pleasant task ahead of us. Some nomos. Two nomos, but focus on the one that's on my right wrist, interestingly enough. Which is the ace times nomos. I think yeah. how many collaborations is it now? This is maybe the sixth or the seventh. Yeah. So far we've had the three Amsterdam editions. One of them was the, the Tangente, there was the Veldsite, there was the Campus, there were two other Club Campus editions. Uh, one was the Nomis for Life, love that name. And uh, also the De Steel Orion. I hope I'm saying that right. Yes, uh, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. And this one uh, is the only current Ace Times Nomos limited edition still available out of all of those. Absolutely. So it is the open case back version. Uh, yeah, with the Alpha Caliber, like all of the all of the club watches, including my my club campus, 36 millimeters for this one, as yes. opposed to the 38 on this one here. Good size. I mean, you don't really see too many watches in that sort of size range today. 47 and a half millimeter lug to lug. Mm -hmm. So it does not wear small. It's not a sort of vintagey feeling watch or anything like that. It's a modern watch, Bauhaus style, properly normal, as we know. Long lugs, but wear nicely still. And look, the reason Borna is sitting here with me, not just because you are certainly the officer's biggest Nomos fan, but because I saw you double wristing both yesterday. Yeah. And I, I thought this one just suited you to the ground. And I questioned how does the new Ace uh, edition compare to your, what is this club? This is the Club Campus. Half Cali dial. California dial, the Nacht edition, reference mm -hmm. 738. And I looked at the two and just thought, that's so interesting that you you prefer the 38 mil, or that's the watch you bought. Yeah. And yeah. I, whereas I feel that the 36 on you with your proclivities and tastes as I know them to be, <laughs> I thought this is a perfect match. So talk me through it. So they wear quite similarly between the two. Um, like I said before, this does not wear like a traditional 36 mil vintage watch would. Uh, it's got, they are, they are, they're, they're, they're quite thick. Uh, you still have a really slim case profile though, 8.2 millimeters only, yeah. so wears nice and slim. Look at that. As far as what I prefer to buy really, it didn't just come down to the size, came down to the California dial, the overall color scheme as well. And also this one wasn't available. The one that was available was the white dial, and this is just chef's kiss. Tell me about the dial, because it's a pretty dashing color scheme. Wonderful, wonderful. Sort of this dark, dark navy blue, almost a, a midnight blue with these orange accents on the second hand and the numerals and indices, very, very Dutch. And yeah, on this really cool strap as well, it's sort of a dark midnight blue or black uh, shell cordovan strap. Comes with two extra straps as well, two NATOs that I did wear this watch on. It. <laughs> Until your mom told you. To yeah, like yeah, my one. mom hated the orange one. I loved it. I, I did prefer it. It really matches the the orange on the on the dial nicely. And this is supposed to be a fun watch. Um, yeah. it's a small watch. People might call it a, a dressy watch, but it's worse than really someone not. talk about a watch without yeah. letting you try it. Yeah. So, so that's the story of uh, Borna with this watch because I saw him trying both. But the story goes deeper than that because Ace Jewelers in Amsterdam are a preeminent jeweler in that country. And I have gotten to know Alon B. Joseph from Ace very well over the years. He's a flamboyant character, amazing footwear, always the most incredible footwear and a very tall and imposing man, very friendly man. Yeah, very yeah. Dutch. Yeah, very Dutch. very Dutch. I just have seen this, this somewhat enviable hot streak of no mosses coming out. And like I said, this is the only one that is currently available out of all of the ones we previously mentioned. So I asked for one in for review. Yeah. And absolutely. here it is. Can't imagine why it's still available. I mean, I would have snapped it up right away. Yeah. If I was buying now, it would be a much harder decision than it was when, when I was when, when I was getting mine a year a, ago. A bit like Revolution Limited Editions. Hopefully, yeah, sure. hopefully we can continue with Time and Tide. But All yeah. numbered on the back as well. So just a, a cool small touch. And that's kind of what Nomos is about at times. It's, it's it in is. bold colors, but subtle touches. There's nothing quite as Nomos as a colorful, unusual, quirky limited edition. They yeah. do 
There's a cool hunting edition that I've got my eyes on that is in like a super lemony yellow. It's quite vibrant and out there. So this this definitely is, is more subtle. It's more of a, a tribute to Amsterdam. I personally find that the lugs are a real feature for a smaller watch. It really gives it the presence on the wrist Absolutely. that some diminished sort of 36mm I mean, it, watches It's a modern watch in its look. It's a modern watch and the lugs attribute to that mostly. If they were yeah. sort of slim, slender, I don't think it would have worked as well as it does here. Yep, no, I love it. And I thank you very much for listening to our little capsule collection of uh, Ace Times Nomos editions. I personally feel a great deal of envy that uh, Ace keep doing these editions. I hope that we can do one one day. I'll be the first one to buy one. What would you do though? If you could do make a Nomos right now? Ooh, hmm. California dials are my thing. So <laughs> it would definitely be a California dial, maybe in an Ahoy case. I really love those bright colors. And just having a Nomos style watch, you know, super slim, this Bauhaus style, but 200 meter diver somehow, it's really cool. That's um, good, yeah. good for Australia. Maybe something like that. My vote would be for an Autobahn, but that's another story. <laughs> also great choice. Thanks for watching. Uh, do, you have, do you own Nomos too? Uh, it was the first watch I bought my wife. It was the first watch my brother bought in the luxury Good watch choices. game. So we are connected to the brand. We love the brand. We can understand why there's a bit of a cult around it. And congratulations Ace on another winner. Absolutely. Thanks for watching Tom Tide.